Resilience, the ability to recover from or adjust easily to misfortune or change. You gotta have it, it's gonna happen, and man, we gotta excel in it. The cracks of living life, playing in the NFL, fill them with gold, man. It's week number five of this NFL season and welcome to another edition of the Mike McCarthy Show powered by Reliant Energy inside the Globe Life studio here at the Star in Frisco. Bill Jones along with Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy as the Cowboys going for four in a row this week. A Sunday afternoon game at SoFi Stadium against the defending Super Bowl champion Los Angeles Rams and kind of to the quarter pole of the season roughly at a three and one record. You have to like the looks of how things have uh, transpired over the last few weeks. Thanks, Coach. Uh, definitely. I think we're off to a good start. Uh, September football is always a little bit of a different challenge. Um, and then, you know, add, add on to the challenges we've had, you know, in the injury department. Uh, I, you know, we're satisfied to be here at 3-1. and one. Uh, But the reality of it is when we go through our self, Scott, and, and as we presented it early in the week, uh, you know, as part of the application to the, this week's game plan, you know, there's definitely a lot of room for improvement. So we're just really focusing on doing the things that we need, need to do better. Obviously, we've got an excellent opponent and the defending champion, the Rams. Uh, but, you know, we're really looking forward to the contest. Yeah, talk, talking about the Rams a little bit, them coming, they're coming off the short week this week after playing a Monday night game, a loss uh, to San Francisco. What can you expect out of Sean McVay's team coming off a loss last week? Well, I, I just think like any team, you know, uh, you know they're, they're defending champions. Uh, there'll be a lot of urgency. I mean, that's to be expected. I, I think short weeks actually serve you well when you come off a loss. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm expect, expecting a prepared team with a lot of urgency. All right, uh, let's talk about your team a little bit. Now, how about we start with Michael Gallup? Uh, the uh, return of Michael last week, and he scores a touchdown. And uh, I know that the, the idea was to make sure that he was ready whenever he did get back on the field. And I would say he's he was ready. Uh, it was a great <laughs> comeback, no doubt about it. No, it's 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 awesome to have Michael back out there. I think anytime you watch one of your players go through the rehab process um, and, and just get over every single threshold, uh, you know, the, the extra week was needed. And um, but most importantly, uh, we were able to get him involved. Um, you know, he had, he had big plays in the game, whether he's drawing the penalties and obviously the touchdown. So just really, it, you know, really happy for him personally, but uh, definitely give us a big shot in the arm. You know, and you look now at that wide receiver room, you still got James Washington out, but with the top three of C.D. Lamb as well as Michael Gallup and Noah Brown, who had a big catch in that game and is off to a very nice start himself, uh, you have to like the looks of what you've got there at the receiver position. Oh, no, definitely, absolutely. I mean, you know, Michael's established here. You know, obviously, Noah's had it. He's been the most consistent uh, player over the, over the four weeks. You know, C.D. has is, is really done an outstanding job being in, in the number one role, you know, all the extra attention that he's getting. And, you know, and, and James is getting close, so you know, ho hopefully he can he can come back and give us another shot in the arm. All right, uh, the Rams, when you look at their defense, uh, you look at the three levels of the defense, there's yeah. stars at every level. We start up front. How about with uh, Aaron Donald? You know, you look at that 2014 draft, middle of the first round, Donald went number 13 overall. Zach Martin goes number 16 uh, overall. That's a pretty fair draft for both teams. Oh, yeah, no <laughs> doubt. And uh, it's, it's held up for quite some time, as we both know. But, yeah, I, I mean, Aaron Donald is – I mean, he's the feature player really on their whole football team. Uh, he draws the most attention, right, rightfully so. Uh, so disruptive. Uh, you know, you, you see him, uh, his playmaking ability is, is, in my opinion, has gone up a notch. Um, you know, just the, the way they're playing him uh, currently. So he's obviously a big focal point for us. But, you know, I, I agree with you on, on le every level of you know, the defense, whether it's Bobby Wagner, obviously, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, I, you know, this is going to be a big challenge for us. Yeah, and, and Bobby Wagner, uh, a guy I know that you have a lot of respect for, yeah. right? Well, I've just, I've, I've just gone to go. It seems like Bobby's played for 30 years. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's, he's been such a staple. Uh, he's just so consistent. You know, obviously, you know, uh, you know his range and his length, and I mean, he's. Uh, super, super, super smart, instinctive player. But yeah, I just have a tremendous amount of respect for him. All right, we're just getting started on this edition of the Mike McCarthy Show. Up next, it's David Moore of the Dallas Morning News. The Mike McCarthy Show, presented by Reliant, is brought to you by AT&T, the official 5G innovation partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Ford, Ford F-Series, the best-selling truck in Texas. The University of North Texas, proud partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. It's Miller time. And by Reliant, 
an NRG company. No, no, I have not. I've never used it, but I'll just say this. We're nobody's underdog, so if you need a quote. And welcome back to the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. Bill Jones inside the Globe Life studio, now joined by David Moore of the Dallas Morning News, SportsDayDFW.com. I just love the way the coach wrapped up that Thursday press conference. We're nobody's underdog. First off, he didn't know anything about lines on games or anything never, like never that. Never, never heard of a thing like that. <laughs> That's right. And he wasn't sure. And so it, it, you could just tell he wasn't sure. Well, which team's favored, whatever. Yeah. Okay, but the line where nobody's underdog. I love that. It was a, the exchange was, you know, have you ever used a point spread for motivation? <laughs> and he said, well, no, you know, what is it for this game? And he was told it was five and a half because we all knew it. And he went, Oh, well, you know, then it was like, well, who? And then he was joking how he would use it this Friday. <laughs> and then he went, uh, he, he got into his philosophy. And, and again, if, if that doesn't fit on a T-shirt at some point this season, I will be surprised. <laughs> but uh, we're nobody's underdog seems to me like a pretty good mantra to carry through, especially when you see what this team has done after the opener and losing Dak Prescott in the third quarter. And all right. Well, since the coach isn't in the room right now, we can talk behind <laughs> his back here. What well, well, I want to find out from you, have you noticed a different Mike McCarthy in the press conferences this year? I have. I think he's more comfortable. I he has not changed in my mind, but I think he's more comfortable in, in these group settings. Um, you know, I think it was he, and it, and it was tough coming in here, right? It was a new organization. It, it runs much differently than the Green Bay Packers. I think everybody will acknowledge that. And in the pandemic, and the first year was virtual. Yeah. Uh, we weren't we weren't even in the same room, and it's like. Uh, not just with Mike McCarthy and the coaching staff, but the players who came in during that period. It, it's very difficult to develop a virtual relationship. It's just different. And uh, so this is the first extended period, I think, post-pandemic. And, and he's this is his third season now. He's, he's more comfortable in interacting with us in the media, knows when we're maybe being sarcastic at times and maybe when it's an earnest question and he uh, plays around with that. Okay, an 18 and 7 record the last 25 games, 7 and 1 without the starting quarterback and you as you pointed out this week and I don't think it was because to keep you secure your spot here on the Mike McCarthy <laughs> show. Uh, there is some credit that should go to the head coach for this. Well, and Jerry and he, Jones is the one who pointed it out. Yeah, and he pointed out and again that's since December of Mike McCarthy's first year here. Uh, they finished three and one, like you said, 18 and seven in the last 25 games, seven and one without Dak Prescott. That's a pretty good sample size. And that is not to suggest that this team is better off without Dak Prescott. That is not what that statistic means. What it means is that he has adapted this team to the situation, not only with the quarterback, but having to play different ways in order to succeed without the starting quarterback in place. And, and I think that's something that gives you something to go forward with. To me, that's the most encouraging sign from inside that locker room standpoint is like, well, we're doing this through the adversity. Uh, what can we do now when all of these guys are starting to come back and you're starting to see that? And another thing we should point out on it, by writing a column like that, writing a story like that, David Moore builds equity. He can now rip the head coach <laughs> in a few weeks if the times go the other direction. Oh, they lose this game. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> Don't tell him what he might write. All right, David Moore, we appreciate it. And the Mike McCarthy Show continues in a moment. This segment is brought to you by Blockchain.com. Trusted by millions. Trusted by America's team. Deron Bland, DB. Oh, it's great. You know, you got kind of the best of both worlds. You got somebody from the old generation and the new generation. So you can learn both from both sides of what they, what they see. My mindset was keep the same energy. You know, uh, Jordan Lewis went down, so I feel like I just need to bring, bring the same energy that he brings as a as a vet. I, I was really just taking my drop, and then I seen the quarterback and seeing where he was looking, and then I seen that he's about to throw it. So like, I was like, I gotta get this one. <laughs> I gotta get this one. Um, I say just the mind game. 
Um, you got to be quicker in the, mind, in the mind and not just be there physically. You know, just, the Rams use like a lot of movement, so you got to see, you got to control our eyes and everything, so that's probably the hardest thing is I just, for me, my eyes. I will for us, our eyes. What a nice game for Duran Bland last week, and now we welcome in Will McClay to the Mike McCarthy Show. And let's take a look as we got the Telestrator out at uh, some of the prominent players on this Rams team and a guy that Duran Bland, the rest of the secondary, will be dealing with. The whole league trying to deal with this guy. Cooper Cup coming off at 145 catch season last year. Yeah, you know, and a guy that plays all over the place for him, plays as a wide receiver, he's playing 99% of the snaps. We're going to take a look at here, getting the ball in his hands any kind of way possible. Here, we're going to look at a screen. What he does is a great job of selling it, and we expect to see this because of our pass rush. You're going to see some screens. They do a great job with the screens, get the ball in his hands, and now he, his ability to run and break tackles. Breaks one, two, three tackles on the way to a big play for an offense that was struggling in this game. Well, and uh, you get them in different ways. This is against San Francisco. This is the Monday night game. They went to him 19 times in this game. Here's one of them. Yeah, and he was open probably 18 of those. You're going <laughs> to see how they use him. They're going to use him in motion. They're a big motion team. Figure out what the defense is doing. You see the corner. The corner's looking in. One of the great things he does, all of his routes look the same, and then you tell the receiver to find the blind spot of the DB and make your break, and a great job by him there. Yeah, amazing. He got his feet inbounds for that catch. All right, look at the defense now. They've got a future Hall of Famer on the defensive line, a future Hall of Famer at the second level, and they've got Jalen Ramsey at cornerback. Yeah, Jalen Ramsey is the guy, you know, they move him all over the all over the field and give him an opportunity. They'll Sometimes they'll shadow him, but he's playing the nickel in here, a big part of that. Uh, kind of a pressure player and do different things. See him over the top of the receiver. Now we see the safety over the top. The receiver's trying to let the quarterback know that he's coming, but here's a blitz from a corner. He mixes it up and then he's tackling the quarterback and a real positive play for the defense. Is it one of those things where you need to know where number five is on the field at all times? Absolutely, because they're going to move him around. Now we'll take a look at him on the outside here playing coverage, and what it is, instinctively what he is, he's a great playmaker, got all the physical tools, but now it's his instincts. You see the quarterback, he's keying the quarterback, and as soon as he takes his hand off the ball, he gets a great break, and that's because of his eyes and his instincts. Just an example of what the Cowboys are going to be facing on offense and on defense against the Rams on Sunday. Will McClay, we appreciate it, and the head coach rejoins us in just a moment here on the Mike McCarthy Show. This segment was brought to you by Blockchain.com. Trusted by millions. Trusted by America's team. This segment is brought to you by Winstar World Casino and Resort, the casino of the Dallas Cowboys. Welcome back to the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy inside the Globe Life Studio. Cowboys and Rams Sunday afternoon. The coach rejoins us now. We uh, heard from Will McClay looking at uh, Cooper Cup and Jalen Ramsey on that Rams team. Let's talk about your defense a little bit and, and uh, the transformation that has taken place in the last couple of years has been pretty remarkable. When you can hang your hat on this defense like you can this year, it's got to make you feel pretty good going into any game. I mean, it really does. I mean, and I think really year two is so it was so pivotal uh, for for our program here. I know year one, you know, when I when I took the job and you know when you looked at the offense, I, you know, the, the goal was just to try to build off what was already established here. And you know, we were just going in a totally different direction defensively. There was a, a system that had been here for ten plus years, and uh, so you know we started that transition in the, in 2020, and then. You know, if you look at that, the player acquisition going into 2021, and then obviously with Dan coming in and, and, and Joe Witt, and just you know, really able to build off of you know the things we really established at the end of 2020, and and just watch it all come together last year, I, I thought was unique. I, I, in my personal experience, especially as a head coach, I don't know if I've seen a um, one side of the ball flip um, as as well as we flipped it from 2020 to to 2021. I'm talking about personnel. You know, scheme advancement. You know, all the above too. So, um, you know, obviously coming out of the uh, the uh, virtual reality realm of 2020, that uh, you know we obviously learned a lot from and applied it for. So, you know, that has been excellent. You know, now we're kind of going through some you know youth development on the offense, and 
Uh, but I, I just can't say enough about what this defense has become because, you know, they have been the stabilizing factor of our football team. They keep us in, in every game and, and have the ability to win games. And I think when you have that from your defense, it, it does make it special. And uh, we're working towards that. We still have a lot of work to do in all three phases. But, you know, our, our point, you know, keeping the points down the way our defense has, you know, it gives us a chance to win every single game. The uh, specific challenge this week against the Rams. You know, I don't know that there is another quarterback that you've gone up against as a head coach more often than uh, Matthew Stafford when you consider his time with the Lions. We all remember him back going back to 2005 when he was yeah. winning a state championship for Randy Allen's Highland Park uh, Scots. Where have you seen his uh, evolution as a quarterback in the NFL, though? You know, I, I'll say this with, with great respect to, to Matthew. Um, I, you know, he, you, you always could see that he could, he could play at a high level. You know, obviously he had, he had some tough years in Detroit, but, um, you know, his ability to make throws um, is, is top notch. You know, the battles that him and Aaron Rodgers had was, was I thought they were unique, uh, but his toughness and so forth. And, you know, but to watch him transition out there to LA Rams, I mean, how can you not respect uh, what he accomplished in one year? Uh, but, you know, you can, you, he can run the whole playbook, obviously, he can make all the throws. Uh, but I, I tell you what I thought was really cool was the way he connected with his receivers. And you could see that in our in our practice that we had uh, with the Rams back in 2021 training camp. So uh, kudos to him. I mean, obviously winning the Super Bowl was, you know, really was the missing piece for his career. And uh, just um, I've seen him made a lot of great throws over the years. And he throws to Cooper Cup a lot. 19 targets oh, yeah. in a Monday night's game. What kind of stress does Cooper Cup, a guy like him, put on your entire defense? Oh no, he, he, I mean, he's a major stress because he can play all, all, you know, all four. What I'd like to say, all four positions uh, at, at the receiver, you know, in the receiver realm. But you know, it's it, it, it's unique things that he does too. I mean, he, he's so um, involved in in the run blocking and the action that comes off of that. So whether he's inserting or you know, you know, um, at the end of the line of scrimmage. So you know, he 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 really takes advantage of all the. Um, pass opportunities both in the drop back and the action. So um, obviously, he, you know, he plays the game like a quarterback, frankly. I mean, just his understanding of, of coverages, you know, his feel for leverage. Uh, I mean, he's an outstanding receiver. All right, we wrap up the Mike McCarthy Show when we come back in just a moment. This segment was brought to you by Windstar World Casino and Resort, the casino of the Dallas Cowboys. Final couple of minutes here of the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. We normally do an unsung star of the week in this last segment, Coach, and I've got about six of them I'd like to talk about. We don't have enough time to talk about all six. So how about we go with the rookie who had the interception last week, who didn't know he was really going to be playing in the game against Washington until right before kickoff, Deron Bland. And what a nice performance from him a week ago. I mean, so, so proud of Deron. I mean, I, th I think really if you go back to – the pregame before you know before the uh, Washington game, and you get the news after the 90-minute you know meeting, and so you can't you know you can't make any adjustments. So I, I tell you, I mean you know Dan and I sat down and talked about the, the different options, and um, you know Duran really was a one-for-one -one opportunity to go in there and play nickel, and uh, it was the best thing for our defense a, as a whole, and I, I just thought he was outstanding. You know, and we saw glimpses of it in the preseason. Oh, yeah. but it's one thing doing it in the preseason, another thing when the lights come on in the regular season, right? I tell you what, when young players come into your program, you know, some guys, you know, step right in and, you know, it feels like they've been here for two years. And then some guys have to learn the ropes and, and, and make progress. Ron's one of those guys that has come right in, has fit right in, uh, has been very, very consistent throughout his time here. So it's really no surprise to any of us that he played at the level that he did. Do you like the fact uh, going back into SoFi Stadium that you already have gone there once this season with a new team and, and new yeah. players on the team and they know the landscape there? Yeah, definitely. I mean, fr frankly, we've played there three years in a row now. Right. So, I mean, it's been, um, you know, a lot of similarities to AT&T. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to, to our crowd there. We've actually worked crowd noise both offense and defense this week. You don't do that very often. So I think that's a real tribute to our great fans. All right. Coach, we appreciate it. Good luck against uh, the Rams. We appreciate all of you joining us as well. And we will see you again next week for another edition of the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. The Mike McCarthy Show, presented by Reliant, was brought to you by Blockchain.com. Trusted by millions, trusted by America's team. 
Ford, Ford F-Series, the best-selling truck in Texas. Bank of America, the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. It's Miller time. And by NFL Game Pass. You'll never miss a game again. Enjoy full and condensed game replays from week one to the Super Bowl.